hello friends uh, welcome back i am sure uh, all of you are doing well uh, so in the previous uh, part the part one we have uh, discussed the general aptitude section and the common and compulsory section section a of gate 2022 question paper and uh, we left here on this table wherein we discussed that uh, achieving 59 marks in these two sections was the easy task you have if you have done the multiple revisions of previous year question paper as well as a uh, few uh, data or few answers were available in the syllabus like as i said set two of the architects guidebook so um, in the uh, in this section we will discuss the optional section section b1 uh, and section b2 section b1 uh, comprising of architecture related question and section b2 the planning related question so uh, the pattern for gate 2023 is also uh, same just like gate 2022 you have to select either of the two section in your final exam so let's start with the uh, question 50 to 56 carrying one mark each so question 50 to 56 they carry one mark each there is negative marking for each wrong answer negative marking of one third for each wrong answer okay so question 50 is which of the following processes is used for sur surface treatment of metals the option given are soldering thermoplating extrusion and riveting if you go through all the given four options uh, take option a soldering soldering is used wherein you join two metals generally this process is used in the electronic circuit uh, extrusion um, we all know that uh, we use the extrude command in uh, 3d modeling or uh, in autocad also so it is uh, flowing of a metal to uh, to a kind of a die to take out some other metal of uh, desired shape riveting we generally use uh, in the steel construction to join uh, two members together so here all the these three option a c and d are uh, the incorrect one and the only correct option is here the thermoplating where is uh, a molten spray is used uh, for some kind of a surface treatment of a metal to avoid the corrosion etc so here uh, the explanation related to all four uh, options is already provided in the set one so the correct answer here is thermoplating that is option b so this is a one mark question uh, we have already achieved 59 marks here uh, we have uh, added one more mark so total mark achieved uh, till now will be 60 marks the next question following monument ancient the only octus Peripteral covering Doric columns, both is best person. Which one? Given option Temple of Apollo, the Parthenon, Horus. Highlighting words, it is a Greek temple, ancient Greek, having octastyle that is eight columns, Dori, eight Doric columns. We have to find suitable option. So uh, there is a reference. For one of the option previous year question so this temple of porus it is not a greek temple it is egyptian what was the question earlier asked related to this that match the features in group one with their architectural periods in group two this this was a uh, gate 2014 so here uh, pylon is the feature uh, which has used in this particular temple temple of porus uh, and which is the correct pair, uh, pair here was the Egyptian. So here uh, this uh, temple of Horus, similar like this, wherein the pylons which depict the two hills and the sun rising. Here the temple of Horus is definitely the correct one because it is a Egyptian temple. Now uh, the, uh, um, um, among the remaining uh, options. The temple of Athena and the Parthenon, these both these structures, they are part of Acropolis. So here uh, we have discussed. This is the image I said to. So uh, temple of Athena, at, uh, it is a tiny temple at the southern end of the Acropolis, followed by the Propylia, which is gateway. Model. Then you have a Parthenon, one of the structure uh, which is Erection, wherein uh, actually the Cartiads were used which depicts the female figure uh, of column they have female figure to uh, support the roof so uh, 
you see the plan uh, or uh, from the description table, as I said here, the temple of Athena of only four columns. So again, uh, the temple of Athena is the suitable. Then, uh, as I have said uh, here, highlighted that it is octa style peripteral temple. So uh, the different styles used in Greek temples, the reference is also available in previous year paper, wherein in the description or in the explanation I have uh, earlier read uh, all these types, wherein amphipo style it uh, uh, it uh, is described as the temple that has columns at front and uh, at the rear. So this uh, temple of Athena. As I uh, discussed in the previous slide, it is um, the temple of Athena. It is not a peripteral temple; it is amphipro style temple, wherein there are columns only at the front and back end. Wherein in question they have said uh, it is a peripteral peripteral temple. So, what is the definition? Temple that has single row of columns surrounding the building. So, uh, this uh, temple of Athena is also not the correct one. So, as I said, these are the different uh, styles used in Greek temples like pro style, amphi pro style, the perip peripteral, uh, which is desired here. It, uh, the plan looks like this, wherein you have a single row of columns on all sides. But specifically, uh, here they have mentioned that they want an uh, option which is having the eight Doric columns. So, um, even a Delphi temple, it is of the peripteral type of temple but it is having only six columns not the eight columns so the temple of apollo also not the, the correct one so the only remaining option is the parthenon which is the correct one and we have also discussed this parthenon multiple times because the references are available in uh, multiple question papers multiple previous year papers. so the parthenon eight uh, doric columns on both east and west facade so the correct option here is options for one mark a very easy question just a temple of Ap apollo and the parthenon were the tricky options just to confuse the candidate so we have achieved one more one more mark total mark we have achieved one mark uh, let's go to the next question question 52 sorry question 53 question 53 is which of the following is or are examples of Tomb architecture of ancient Egypt. Now, this is a MSQ multiple select question wherein maybe more than one option can be the correct. You have to select both the uh, both the suitable. If you select only one option, correct one, then you won't get the partial marking, like I said in the previous lecture. So, here also the references are available, like uh, option given. The question related to Mustabaz was earlier asked in a uh, recent one gate 2000 wherein uh, in the match the pairs like uh, here mustaba which is uh, a tomb uh, the structure tomb structure made of mud bricks so uh, one can select that yes uh, d is the uh, first suitable option uh, in question 53 of gate 20 so uh, let's discuss which are the uh, remaining one the uh, Again, the similar question was also earlier asked in UPSC CBWD 2016. So, what was the question? Uh, consider the following structure Dolmens, Stonehenge, Zikurat, Mustaba. And they are asking which of the above are the tomb structures. Uh, here, the correct option was 1, 3, and 4. That is Dolmens, Zikurat, and Mustaba. These are the tomb structures. So, uh, let's uh, consider the uh, other uh, B and C. Uh, options great temple of abu simbel the temple of konsu so great temple of abu simbel it is tomb structure it is a rock, rocket temple and similar like the temple of konsu karnak it is also not a place of worship so uh, again the b and c are not the correct one uh, then step pyramid of joser sakara it is with the evolution of mustaba in the first they have uh, constructed the mustaba as in the uh, picture and then in the second phase they have added uh, three mustabas they uh, built over one one another and in the final phase total they have added six more the final phase so this a uh, state period of zozer sakura it is also a tomb structure so here the correct option will be in the multiple select question 
ऑप्शन ए एंड डी विल बी द सुटेबल वन तो अगेन वन मार्क क्वेश्चन टोटल मार्क्स वी हैव अचीव टिल नाउ थ्री टू मार्क्स लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन फिफ्टी फोर इफ एल्यूमिनियम इज मैचिंग विथ एनोडाइजेशन एंड ग्लेजिंग इज मैचिंग देन ग्लेजिंग इज मैचिंग विथ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग चॉइसिस रिप्रेजेंट एक्स द ऑप्शन गिवन आर हार्ड कोटिंग टेम्परिंग एक्सटर्नल सीमेंट प्लास्टरिंग एंड फ्री स्टैंडिंग वर्टिकल ग्रीनिंग नाउ इफ यू केयरफुली लुक एट द ऑप्शन एनोडाइजेशन इज द ट्रीटमेंट यूज फॉर एल्यूमिनियम देन विच इज द ट्रीटमेंट यूज फॉर ग्लेजिंग तो वेरी कॉमन सेंस क्वेश्चन दिस ऑप्शन बी एंड डी आर डेफिनेटली नॉट द सुटेबल वन यू कैन डू सीमेंट प्लास्टरिंग ओवर ग्लेजिंग नाइदर यू कैन डू फ्री स्टैंडिंग वर्टिकल ग्रीनिंग द ग्लेजिंग so uh, these uh, b and uh, d option are not the suitable one if you carefully consider the hard coating and uh, tempering that is option a and c hard coating we generally use the term uh, for our specs uh, wherein uh, some extra layer is added where, where the glass is in a molten state to provide the uh, toughness to the glass tempering is provided uh, to the glass which are generally used uh, at at uh, some particular location let's say the take the example of windshield of the motor cars so in case of break they won't uh, break into the uh, uh, sharper pieces so that they won't cause a injury to the passengers so hard coating and tempering these are the uh, methods used um, for the glazing so here uh, the correct uh, option uh, in the uh, multiple select question will be option a and c so as i said uh, the explanation related to both these uh, technology or the techniques hard coating and tempering is available very simple question uh, msq type so option a and c will be the correct one and uh, uh, here we achieve one more mark so total marks we have achieved till now 63 marks the next question is question 56 a hypothetical truss comprising of weightless members is shown in the adjacent figure assuming tension to be positive compression to be negative the value of force in member tu in kilo newton rounded off the rounded off to 1 decibel place will be how much now uh, this entire question is just based on a thumb rule when there are two members uh, linear members meeting at one point uh, wherein the third collinear member is meeting at that particular joint but there is no external force at that joint then the third collinear member will be a zero force member so that this was the thumb rule for this so the similar question uh, based on this truss was also earlier asked in uh, the recent one gate 2019 and a similar question just uh, as i said in the thumb rule uh, it was asked in gate 2017 wherein they have asked uh, what will be the uh, vertical force in the uh, non collinear member pq so uh, here again as per the thumb rule the answer is zero so uh, here uh, for question 56 of gate 2022 the answer will be zero one mark question very easy just we have solved based on the thumb rule so again one mark question total marks we have achieved till now 63 marks the next question is from question 57 to 65 which is carrying two mark each there is a negative marking of 2/3 case of a wrong answer Uh, these are mcq type of question so question 57 uh, it is a match the pair kind of question match the illustration of arch types in group 1 with their corresponding names in group 2 in group 1 they have mentioned the illustration and group 2 what is the name of the arch uh, so uh, earlier uh, there there is a reference much behind that is in gate 2008 question paper wherein they have asked uh, to match the illustration with the names so here in in the uh, in that particular paper we have described all the types of arches along with their illustration and the description so if you carefully see uh, in that list along with the name uh, you will find that uh, there is a match of illustration and the name uh, with uh, with the uh, this particular illustration showing the ogi arch so uh, again if you go back and see in the question paper of gate 2022 Uh, this arch the particular which is shown at uh, r in group 1 uh, this shows the ogi arch so if you carefully see the given four option the only pair 
the only option which is matching r with 2 that is r with 2 ugi arch is the this option b none of the other option none of the other three option have uh, r2 as the pair so even with this one so one pair you can select the suitable option in the given four option so here the option correct option will be option b two mark question very easy so we have achieved 66 mark till now the next question is question 58 match the architectural projects in group 1 with their corresponding architects in group 2 in group 1 they have mentioned i am bangalore osho international meditation resort in pune nalanda international school vadodara and matri mandir auroville now as i said in the first lecture the preparation strategy to almost enlist uh, the, all the structures and their corresponding architects which have been asked earlier in the previous year question paper so we all know I am Bangalore. It, uh, it has been designed by B.B. Doshi sir. So uh, the first uh, one uh, that uh, the, the the references is also available as I said uh, in gate 2000, uh, sorry, in ISRO 2015 question 42 and gate 2009. So the exact the pair was earlier asked in these two question papers. So I am Bangalore which has been designed by B.B. Doshi P4. The option which is having p4 as the first suitable uh, as the suitable pair will be the correct one we have to select from from those uh, options only so def, uh, uh, c and d which is matching p with 2 and p with 3 are not the suitable one so uh, again uh, the references related to the osho international meditation resort which has been designed by hafiz contractor the reference is also available in one of the previous year question paper which was uh, the uh, the year it is gate 2010 if you check question 39 exactly the same pair was earlier asked in that question in that question paper so uh, q uh, osho resort which has been designed by hafiz contractor so q5 is the next pair okay so which is the suitable one option a first we have matched p with 4 and then q5 so again b is not the suitable one and the only correct pair here is q5 now the question related to the S that is Matri Mandir Auroville which has been designed by Roger Anger it, it, it has been also asked in recently in 2011 in question 30. So uh, we know uh, these um, three pairs so the correct suitable option here is uh, option A. Two mark question very easy to solve we have achieved total 68 marks till this question okay. Let's discuss uh, the next question. The next question question 59 it is also uh, the easier one match the pair type of question match the structural joining system in group 1 with the corresponding material for which they are commonly used in group 2 in group 1 they have mentioned the tech the technology or the join joining system building spider connector mortise and tenon and the mortar so um, let's go by the chronology building we uh, in the group 2 we don't use welding for glass, plastic, brick or timber. We use welding for the steel only. So which are the options showing P4 as the pair will be option A and D. Uh, these are two options are showing P as 4. So B and uh, C will not be the suitable one. Uh, among the remaining one, uh, again Q1 are the, uh, the similar in both, uh, both the option we have to uh, we have to uh, go with r and s pair so r and s it is mortise and tenon mortise and tenon we use uh, what is the option a is showing r with 2 that is mortise and tenon with plastic no it is not a suitable one uh, option d says r5 so mortise and tenon we use for timber yes uh, and what is the s uh, s3 uh, mortar we use for the brick construction so again option a is not the suitable one the only correct option here will be the option d the simple one two mark question we have achieved till now 70 marks okay the next uh, match the pairs question is uh, question 60 match the instrument in group one with the corresponding climate parameters in group two in group one they have mentioned pyranometer histrometer hygrometer and anemometer so just like i said before the two question that there used to be uh, some information in every gate question paper wherein you must by heart 
the related information from the previous year question paper. Like I said uh, in the preparation strategy that you must enlist the important structures which have been asked in the previous year question paper and uh, with the respective architects in the other column. Similar like this, uh, the instrument and their area of application. So generally these type of question are asked uh, after a few years wherein uh, if you have uh, the area of application by heart along with the name of the uh, instrument then uh, getting two mark or one mark in the respective question is very easy. Now uh, again the question related to uh, all the four instrument was uh, the question related to all the four in, uh, uh, instrument mentioned in group one were asked uh, previously in a uh, few question papers which are they uh, like i said uh, the question related to instrument mentioned at p and s was earlier asked recently in gate 2016 at question number 39 so pyranometer it is uh, used uh, for uh, solar radiation whereas anemometer it is used to measure the wind velocity so here in question 39 you have these uh, two instrument readily available these two pairs readily available so um, p matches with uh, 3 in question number uh, 60 pyranometer uh, with uh, third uh, uh, area of application that is solar radiation in group 2 in question 60 uh, and uh, the second one s that is anemometer it matches with the wind uh, so s matches with 2 now to make the candidate uh, uh, confused or to make the question little bit more tricky they have mentioned p3 and s2 um, as the uh, pair in two option in option a as well as option b now the c and d are not the uh, are not the um, suitable one or uh, are the incorrect one so we can uh, neglect these two option and we have to select the final option from the option a or option b now the question related to the instrument mentioned at uh, Q and R that is distributor and hygrometer was also earlier asked uh, in 2011 at question 40. So what was the question? Similar like this, match the instrument in group 1 with their corresponding function in group 2. So hygrometer it is used to measure the relative humidity. So here in question 60, hygrometer that is R it is measured to uh, it is used to measure the uh, relative humidity or simply humidity so r matches with one so in option a and option uh, uh, b the the correct pair which is mentioned r1 is uh, at option a so b is also not the correct one again as i said uh, q that is that, that is a distrometer it is used to measure the precipitation so q5 uh, in question 60 q matches with precipitation that is mentioned at 5 so in a a and b a is the correct one okay so a uh, two mark question just all the uh, uh, the information related to this instrument was readily available in previous year question so two mark question uh, here total marks we have achieved 72 marks the next question question 61 is multiple select question in traditional temple architecture which of the following statement or statement is or are true the statement one is jagmohana refers to a dancing hall Gopuram refers to an entrance tower charchala refers to a roof composed of four triangular segment and the statement at d is vimana refers to the structure over garbagriha now uh, the first uh, sentence is jagmohana refers to a dancing hall so the reference is available uh, in one of the question paper so the correct statement would have been jagmohana refers to a entry hall not a dancing hall or the natmandira uh, natmandira refers to a dancing hall so uh, these two are the correct sent so definitely uh, statement a is the incorrect one okay uh, gopuram refers to an entrance tower charchala refers to a roof composed of four triangular segments vimana refers to structure over garbagriha now the reference related to b and d are available in previous year question paper uh, just uh, like i said uh, recently that uh, the the, ref, uh, the information related to jagmona natmandira bhogmandapa and uh, rekha devula it is available uh, in gate uh, 1993 at question number 12 this was explained further uh, question 38 of ISRO 2015 uh, was related to uh, the sentence given at B and D. 
it was related to gopuram and vimana what was the question uh, asked in isro 2015 which of which one of the following is the characteristic feature of dravidian style of temple so the given option were mandapa kapola curvilinear shikara and vimana so uh, here dravidian style it follows the the components are mandapa as well as vimana so the vimana it, it is the uh, it is the structure over the garbagriha whereas the gopuram is the entrance tower this is the entrance tower so uh, b and d is also the correct one okay now the charchala uh, uh, it is a uh, it is a type of roof which is generally we found in the chola uh, style of temple architecture wherein the roof is in in the pyramidal shape uh, consisting of uh, four uh, triangular uh, Four triangular segments. So this charchala uh, is uh, is the roof which is uh, composed of four triangular segments. So uh, all the three uh, sentences that is B, C, and D are the correct one. Okay. So uh, this was also the simple one. Uh, the information was available in previous year question paper. So uh, among these uh, option B, C, and D are the correct one. So, uh, two mark uh, uh, multiple select question. Total marks we have achieved till now 74. Let's uh, go to the next question. The next multiple select question is question 62. Which of the following factors impact daylight autonomy of a built, built space? Daylight autonomy, uh, the term is can define that uh, the daylight uh, should be sufficient. Uh, to to provide the lightning inside the uh, build space without uh, providing the any artificial light so which are the factors which uh, which can benefit so that we can uh, take, we can use maximum of daylight for uh, lighting the indoor space so uh, first uh, as we uh, all know orientation of building which which matters a lot while uh, designing any structure while designing the building like how you orient so that you can take the maximum uh, daylight uh, inside the building. Option C, uh, latitude and longitude of the building location. Yes, uh, it also um, affects how how much uh, daylight can penetrate inside the uh, building. Uh, option uh, B is glare caused by daylight. Uh, this is like a kind of a temporary uh, or uh, a, a, it will have a time limitation if for example there is some kind of a building next to your building and uh, because of the daylight um, the light getting reflected from that building and which is causing some kind of a glare and that glare is providing uh, some kind of a daylight uh, in in your uh, indoor space but that will be a limited that will be a temporary that won't be a sufficient uh, throughout the year uh, Option D is fenestration size. Yes, the size of window or the size of fenestration will definitely matter uh, how much daylight is coming uh, inside a build space. So among these uh, A, B, C and D, uh, only option A, C and D are the correct one and B, glare caused by daylight is definitely the incorrect one. So uh, two mark MSQ question, total marks uh, we have achieved by counting, by adding this two mark will be 76 marks. The next question, question 63 is numerical answer type question. What is the question? For the beam shown in the adjacent figure, assuming a sagging moment, generating tensile stresses at the bottom fiber as positive and hogging moment, generating tensile stresses at the top fiber as negative, the bending moment in kilonewton meter rounded off to one decimal place at section XX. Section XX will be how much? Now simply first we will find out the reactions. Okay. So RW, RW plus RY equal to uh, 4 into 20. This is uh, UDL, uniformly distributed load plus 120. This is the point load. So uh, it, uh, the total will be 200 kilonewton, right? Now taking moment at W uh, equal to 0. So what will be the equation? Uh, it will be 20 into 4, 20 into 4 into 2 minus uh, minus ry into 4 minus ry into 4 plus 120 into the total distance 5 which will be equal to 0 as we have considered it is equal to uh, the taking moment at w here is 0 so uh, solving this equation we will get the value of ry equal to 190 okay 
by putting the value of ry in this equation we will get the rw that is reaction at w which will be equal to 10 kN. Now what is the um, desired information? We have to find out the bending moment at section xx. Okay. So bending moment at xx will be here it will be rw into 2 rw into 2 minus 20 into 2 into 1 minus 20 into 2 into 1. So by solving this we will get uh, this value as uh, just put the value of rw as 10 so 10 into 2 20 and this will be 40 so 20 minus 40 will be minus 20 kilonewton meter so this is the, uh, the desired answer minus 20 the two mark question easy to solve the numerical answer type question so by adding two two more mark here total marks we have achieved till now 78 marks The next numerical answer type question is question 64. The acoustical absorption of a wall panel in each octave band rated below. The noise reduction coefficient of the wall panel will be how much? The value is given for the absorption coefficient and you have to find out the noise reduction coefficient. Now, uh, for, for calculating the noise uh, reduction coefficient, you must know what is the formula. Now, this formula was but the question related to definition of this noise reduction coefficient was there in previous year question. But where was um, where was the definition? It was there in gate 2014 question 39. Please check that. So what was the question? The arithmetic average value of the sound absorption coefficient for a specific material and particular mounting condition for four frequencies is what? So the correct answer here was noise reduction coefficient. So what is the what you need to do in the calculation you just need to find out what is the arithmetic average value uh, of the sound absorption coefficient you just need to find out the um, the average of the given four value uh, given uh, these values uh, of question 64 so it was as simple as that okay so the noise reduction coefficient equal to as i said arithmetic average of sound absorption coefficient uh, for this frequency so just put the values just do the addition and divide it by 9 you will get the answer it was as simple as that for that you must know what is the formula so what will be the uh, trick for that you must enlist all the formulas uh, or uh, the definition related to the this kind of a terms in your notes so that you can just simply put the values and find out the answer in numerical answer type so 0.60 uh, is the is the value we have derived by calculating the average of this noise reduction coefficient so the answer given by the gate answer key was in the range 0 0.62 so two mark question very easy to solve so by adding two mark more we have achieved till now 80 mark by solving the simple kind of a question which have the references in previous year question paper the next question 65 is the last question uh, last question we are doing from this uh, part b1 containing the architecture related question so again uh, similar like question 64 the the formula for the information uh, which we need to or the value we need to derive from this numerical answer type question was again available in previous year question paper we will discuss it one by one so the question 65 is a room is maintained at a wet bulb wet bulb temperature uh, of 25 degrees celsius globe temperature of 30 degree celsius and air velocity of 0.5 meter per second the decrease in tropical summer indexed when the air velocity is increased to 3 meter per second in degree celsius rounded off to two decimal places will be how much now for this as i said you must know what is the formula to calculate the tropical summer index okay so the the formula was available in the recent year paper of gate 2018 if you refer uh, question 11 there you will find the formula for this tropical summer index okay so what was the question assuming other variables remaining constant the tropical summer index will be uh, what will be the, uh, the result depending upon if you uh, if you uh, if the the variables are constant um, then uh, it 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 is directly proportional so it it, it will increase with the increase in uh, uh, vapor pressure so the formula was mentioned here tropical summer index equal to uh, 1 by 3 tw where is tw is the wet bulb temperature plus 3 by 4 tg tg is the globe temperature minus 2 into square root of velocity air velocity so you just need to uh, you just need to put the values in this formula 
for question 65 of gate 2022 and you will um, find out the answer okay so again we will write down write down the formula here 1 by 3 tw plus 3 by 4 tg minus 2 into square root of velocity um, so here in the first case uh, where they have mentioned the wet bulb temperature as 25 degrees celsius so tw will be 25 tg that is globe temperature is 30 and uh, the velocity they have mentioned 0.5 so we just need to find out square root of 0.5 uh, by putting the uh, values uh, these three values 25 30 and 0.5 in the equation will get tropical summer index in the first case as 29.43 as you can see on your screen in the second case the air velocity is increased to 3 meter per second now please read the question carefully they have mentioned increase to if they have mentioned increase by 3 meter per second then we have to add uh, 0.5 in the first uh, in the second case it is increased by and increase to now it is increased so directly the value uh, the value of v will be uh, 3 meter okay so uh, just by putting this uh, the the values of the uh, the earlier values are just a similar one so we have to just change the value of v okay so by putting the the value of v um, in in place of uh, in the, in the equation we will get the new value that is um, the tropical summer index in the second case will be 27.38 now they are asking the decrease in tropical summer index when the velocity is increased okay so you just uh, uh, minus the value direct uh, that is uh, from 29.43 minus 27.38 so you will get the answer 2.05 so that will be the um, decrease so um, they have uh, the uh, official gate answer key have considered both the answers like if the candidate is writing with the negative sign that like minus minus 2.05 or if someone is writing 2.05 both the answer they have considered as a correct one okay so two mark question was again very easy just need to put the values but for that you should remember or for that the formula should be uh, the the candidate should be aware about the what is the formula to calculate the tropical summary so this was the last question we have discussed uh, from part b1 and total marks we have achieved till uh, this uh, particular uh, question will be 82 marks so uh, we have solved general aptitude question we have solved the common and compulsory section and the, um, the optional one that is the first optional that is b1 so if we uh, the the architecture candidate or uh, let's say even if the planning candidate if we have opted for this kind of a combination general aptitude compulsory and b1 then uh, 82 mark marks giving 82 marks was the very easy with good kind of a revision of previous year question paper good understanding along with the and with the detailed study of the entire syllabus okay so now we will discuss the the part b2 which will comprise of planning related question let's go to the part b2 okay so let's start uh, with the next option section that is section b2 for uh, comprising of 25 marks similar like the b1 here also the first seven question carries one mark each negative marking of one third for each wrong answer total seven marks for first seven question followed by the next two mark question okay so question uh, 66 to 72 are one mark question so question 66 says which of the following is the national electronic toll connection system implemented by the national payment corporation of india the given option are e pass ez pass hashtag fast tag i think it is one of the easiest question this entire paper we know that fast tag is the technology being implemented to collect the automatic collection of the uh, toll on the highways so here the correct option will be option d fast tag very easy question one mark so we have achieved 59 mark in the first two section general aptitude plus common part one mark for this question so total marks we have achieved till uh, this question will be 60 marks the next question question 67 is the shaded area in the adjacent demand supply graph is known as uh, the option given are consumer surplus consumer deficient producer surplus and producer deficient now the question related to this demand and supply was earlier asked in gate 2008 at question 56 wherein the question was negative and positive correlation between price and quantity of a com commodity are respectively represented by the correct answer here was option b supply and demand curve now take a uh, uh, the basic thumb rule if 
the supply decreases and the demand increases then obviously the price of the commodity will increase in the vice versa or in the other case if the supply increases and the demand decreases then automatically the price of the commodity will decrease so here uh, for this graph uh, the shaded area it shows uh, it shows uh, the uh, the consumer surplus okay so what is consumer surplus suppose you have um, 80 rupees in your pocket and if you want to buy uh, onions 1 kg onion and uh, the price uh, uh, the the price of the onion before uh, you went to the market that the notional price you have in your mind that the onion maybe uh, they will price you 80 rupees per kg but if you went to the market and if you get the onions at uh, let's say 60 rupees uh, per kg then 20 rupees is the uh, is called as the consumer surplus where it is like a benefit to the consumer where he he has the liberty to buy the um, uh, onion at a lesser price in other case the area just below the shaded region uh, in the question 67 is called as the producer surplus uh, in, in that case i will the, give you the example suppose uh, if uh, a company uh, is supplying some kind of a products in the market wherein the standard price is 80 rupees but at the same time the other companies are sub, also supplying the um, that particular product at the same price in that case the company decide to sell the product at uh, some lesser price let's say at uh, 70 rupees or uh, 75 rupees uh, so that um, they, at least they can sell uh, at least they can finish that stock uh, with them so in that case it is called as a producer surplus wherein the producer take the uh, take the liberty to sell the product at a some lesser price than what is what he was expecting uh, from the um, uh, from the market so here the correct option for this question is um, uh, option A consumer surplus the shaded area it shows the consumer surplus surplus where it's the area just below the shaded region this portion it shows the producer surplus. So um, as I said the, uh, the question related to price and um, uh, demand and supply curve was earlier asked in one of the question paper and this information was relevant to that. So one mark question for this total marks we have achieved 61 marks. The next question again it was related to the uh, question of earlier year question paper. The question 60, 68 is identify the traffic interchange shown in the adjacent figure. The option are directional, trumpet, clover leaf and diamond. Now um, the question related to all the interchange was uh, previously asked in gate 2017. The recent one at question 18. What was the question? The grade separated interchange suitable for a three legged road intersection is called as so here the correct option was trumpet but in in that particular question of gate 2017 we have already discussed all the types of intersection wherein you must have seen this uh, the, the illustration for the uh, clover leaf or full clover leaf so answering question 68 uh, if you have gone through this uh, question paper so here the correct option is clover leaf instead of full clover leaf they have just mentioned clover leaf so option c is the correct one here one more question just um, exactly it was similar to the previous year question paper or the information was available in one of the previous year question paper so the correct option is uh, option c uh, one more question very easy total marks we have achieved 62 marks let's go to the next question the next question is question 70 which which among the following is are models model or models of public private partnership that is ppp used for infrastructure projects and it is a multiple select question so uh, the question related to this was earlier asked recently in gate 2017 wherein they have asked it in which of the following models does the private partner own the revenue as well as the risk associated with the project for a limited period of time here the correct option was build op own operate and transport that is good okay so um, as per this information I, the, uh, the first uh, option which we can finalize is option c in question 70 apart from this we have discussed all the um, uh, all the models of public private partnership in section uh, b 2.2 uh, in planning techniques and management in uh, in um, uh, set 2 of architects guide okay so here if you go through uh, all the four given option as we have fi already finalized the option c let's uh, see uh, the other three option bold old and the la last uh, option d as a bpot 
So here uh, in the set two, we have seen that uh, the first model is uh, what that is build, operate, transfer. Then uh, the second one boot, build, own, operate, and transfer. Build, rent, own, or transfer that is brought. The third one is build, lease, own, operate, and transfer that is um, plot. Okay. So here uh, option B matches with this. Third one build, transfer, operate that is. PTO and uh, the last one is build, own, lease and transfer. Um, sorry, my mistake. I said um, a blot as the first one uh, as option B, but here uh, the for option B, the, the full form is build, own, lease and transfer, bold. Okay. So, if you see uh, the remaining two option, option A and option D, uh, here they have used bold. The last term D in all the uh, uh, in the all the models of public private partnership d either stands it for design or develop but the design or develop stage it cannot uh, come at the uh, at the end right it should be at the beginning um, so option a cannot be the correct one similarly for option d dpot now there is no term uh, related to uh, or which is, which is starting with p in in any of the ppp model so uh, also the option D is not the correct one. So the only two option correct as per the information we have already read in the set two as well as one of the question paper in previous year. Uh, so only option B and C are the correct one. Now the, the, the exact question or the question was uh, related to the uh, theory related information available in set two. So one mark question. Total marks we have achieved till now 63 marks. The next question, question 71 is numerical answer type. The measured port speed in kilometer per hour for 10 vehicles from a traffic stream are given as, as you can see on your uh, screen. The time mean speed of the traffic stream in kilometer per hour rounded off to one decimal place. Now for, to solve this question, you must know what is the definition uh, or what is the formula to calculate the time mean speed of a traffic stream. Okay. So, um, all the definitions related to traffic flow analysis are mentioned in uh, set 2 at uh, in section 2.3.4. So, what is uh, time mean speed? The definition says time mean speed is defined as the average speed of all the vehicles passing, uh, passing a point on a highway over some specified time period. So, just uh, in, in, in this numerical answer type question, you just need to calculate the average value uh, of all the uh, vehicles. Uh, the uh, the mention speed are the spot, spot speeds uh, which have been um, measured through, uh, through kind of a spot gun or some other techniques and we have to calculate the average of that those speeds so simply put uh, simply calculate the average values um, we have done the addition of all the uh, spot speed divided by 10 you will get the answer 43.8 very simple but for that you must know what is the uh, formula or what is the definition for the time mean speed so, uh, as per uh, final gate answer key, they have mentioned the answer in the range of 43 to 44. So, our answer is 43.8. In between this range, we will get full marks. So, total marks we have achieved till now, uh, till this question will be 64 marks. Let us go to the next uh, numerical type question, question 72. In a township, the price of each house was 25 lakhs last month. Okay. The number of houses sold in a month that is q in thousands is sensitive to the price of the house again the um, prices depend upon what is the um, at the price increases maybe the uh, the sale might have been decreased what uh, further the question says and establishes a relationship as q equal to 6685 minus 0.00158p now what is p they have mentioned it uh, as a uh, price of the house so it is directly related to the how much quantity of houses were sold so if the price of the each house increases by 20 percent in the current month then the decrease in the sale of the houses in percentage they are not asking the number they are asking in percentage please read the question carefully compared to last month will be how much now let's um, write down the information um, step by step in um, in the while uh, solving the answer it uh, the question was based on the price elasticity demand which was again asked in gate 2019 the recent one at question 24 so assume we will assume the price of each house um, sold uh, in the last month as p1 
they have mentioned uh, the uh, the price of the house as p we will assume the last month p1 which was 25 lakh then uh, what is the relationship they have mentioned uh, the given equation is q equal to 6685 minus 0 0.00158 p1 okay so now we will put the value of p1 uh, as 25 lakh we will get the value of q1 so what is q1 it is the number of houses houses sold in the last month okay q1 so now uh, in the uh, in the information uh, uh, in the question they have mentioned that the price of the house uh, has been increased by 20 percent so what will be the uh, increase um, we have to calculate what is the uh, 20 percent of um, 25 lakh and just add in the um, uh, in the 25 lakh so if the price uh, increases by 20 percent the new price will be 30 lakh okay now again we will put the value of this uh, p2 in the uh, in the equation of q equal to 6685 minus 0 0.00158 p so what will be the q2 um, by solving this we will get the q2 that is the number of houses sold in the in the next month will be 1945 okay so in the question they have uh, they are asking the decrease in sale in percentage okay so what is the net decrease the net decrease will be uh, 2735 minus 1945 so uh, 790 is the decrease so we have to calculate uh, it in percent compared to the last month so just 790 divided by 2735 into 100 so the net decrease we will get as 28.89 percent so this was our uh, final uh, final answer two mark question very easy to solve just need to put the values in the equation and solve the question so the as per final answer key the range given is 27 to 30 our answer is 28.89 in the range we will get the full marks so total marks we have achieved till now 65 marks what is the next uh, question now um, question 73 to 81 they are two mark question mcq negative marking of uh, two third for each uh, wrong answer uh, question 73 is match the models in group 1 with their corresponding applications in group 2 in group 1 they have mentioned logit model green sheet model gravity model and multiple regression model we have to identify uh, the area of application of this model now the exact similar question was earlier asked in gate 2006 question 52 wherein uh, the model mentioned at p r and s were asked in that question what was the question match the components of travel demand in group 1 with the forecasting model in group 2 just they have interchanged group 1 with group 2 so here the correct option was uh, option a we have uh, discussed all these models in that particular question paper so trip generation uh, model is used for uh, in uh, sorry in trip generation we use the regression model um, for trip distribution we use the gravity model for mode choice um, um, this model um, for more choice we use mathematical logit model for trip assignment we use the minimum tree search or all or nothing model uh, by after doing the origin and destination survey okay so uh, these three um, uh, if we uh, if uh, we remember these three models or we have done uh, the study of these three models in previous year question paper i think uh, the, uh, the the pair mentioned at p r and s to match the pairs at p r and s would have been very easy now uh, so as per this uh, yeah again i said the information related to all these models is already available in set 2 uh, in uh, traffic and transportation planning section so trip generation we use uh, as i said uh, uh, for the uh, this particular uh, model um, how uh, which model is used for uh, this traffic assignment then we have also discussed trip distribution uh, just as, as i said for trip distribution uh, we use the origin and destination and it is calculated by using the gravity model similar for modal split all these uh, are mentioned in the set 2 so here if you go through the options given uh, option a and d uh, a uh, sorry a and c um, the three pairs that is p2 uh, r5 and s4 are the common so the deciding pair will be q okay so as we have studied that um, this um, for traffic assignment 
we uh, we use uh, the minimum tree search method minimum tree search path where we find out the shortest path by doing the origin and destination uh, surveys so green shield model is not used for that uh, this trip assignment so uh, q1 is not the correct pair okay so uh, uh, again the next thing green shield model we use for the traffic flow analysis wherein speed and density they are directly uh, um, they are inversely uh, proportional for example if the speed increases your the density of the traffic will decreases similarly if the density of the traffic um, um, increases then obviously the speed of the car will be decreases so here the correct option will be um, as i said by uh, looking at uh, the pair q1 as mentioned in uh, a which is the wrong one the only suitable correct option will be c so two mark question we have achieved till now 67 mark let's go to the next question okay the next question for two marks question 76 is in the conceptual diagram of the city as shown in uh, adjacent figure p q r and s refer to urban patterns among the choices given below the correct association is which of the following option okay so they have mentioned um, the uh, the patterns and we have to identify uh, what is the location that particular uh, alphabet is showing in the given option they have mentioned a satellite town central business district urban fringe and satellite town so if you um, carefully see uh, we have already discussed all these terms in previous year question paper and is also one of the simple question for the two marks so s shows as the central business district it is at the center so it is a cbd in, in short we call it as a cbd central business district so uh, the only option wherein uh, s is showing the central business district are option a and option c uh, as i said uh, in question 1997 the the question uh, 27 uh, wherein we have discussed the satellite town in isro 2018 we have discussed the urban fringe in gate 2018 question 36 we have discussed the tod that is transit oriented development as well as in gate 2007 we have uh, discussed the uh, at question 36 we have uh, discussed the cbd or the central business district so as i said um, uh, definitely b and d are not the correct one wherein they have mentioned s as the urban fringe okay so we have deleted these two options b and d now uh, we have to select from option a and c what is the correct one okay so in this also uh, if you uh, see what is given for uh, the next uh, alphabet that is uh, what is mentioned for p in these two options uh, the option a says p as satellite known which is uh, which is the correct one option c says p as the urban fringe now uh, the location of p is not at the fringe area it is not at the uh, at the outer boundary of the um, central business uh, of the city so uh, again we'll uh, see what are the uh, other pairs okay so uh, option a is saying q as the urban fringe again uh, the more correct one and r as the tod uh, r that is uh, it is showing the uh, transit oriented development now uh, just if you see carefully they have mentioned uh, near r uh, uh, that a metro tra metro line is going on and r is showing that a transit oriented development so tod it stands for some kind of a development along the transit corridor so um, uh, in option c they have mentioned r as the satellite town now r is not the location for the satellite town it is within the city boundary so uh, again the c option is de uh, definitely the incorrect one and the only suitable option is here is option a so uh, very simple to answer just by we have uh, deleted the incorrect one and find out the more uh, the correct one so option a is the correct one for uh, question 60 uh, 76 a two mark question we have achieved till now 69 mark the next question question 77 is which among the following is or are the component or components of the assimilative carrying capacity of urban environment the term mentioned uh, are um, air water economy and soil now um, the only term which is not directly related to the natural environment is the economy wherein the other factors they they uh, they compose uh, the urban environment of a particular city uh, air water and soil so here I, it is also one of the easy one wherein economy is not uh, um, uh, the the uh, 
the component for the assimilative carrying capacity and all these three the remaining three air water and soil are the component of the uh, carrying capacity of urban environment now uh, the definition um, is mentioned in set one while solving this that it is defined as the ability of the environment or a, or a portion of the environment such as stream lake air mass or soil to carry the waste material without having the adverse effects on the environment or the users of its resources so uh, c is the incorrect one and all the uh, three uh, one we have to select all the three uh, in the multiple select question in this multiple select question so option a b and d are the correct one two mark question easy one total marks we have achieved 71 by adding the two marks to total 71 marks the next question uh, numerical answer type two mark question question 80 uh, this is the last question uh, we are discussing in this uh, in this particular b2 uh, section uh, a landowner has shown interest in town planning scheme based on the details of the scheme given in the adjacent uh, table the estimated net benefit of the landowner after land development in indian rupees will be how much they have mentioned original plot size as 500 square meter original land value as 1200 indian rupees plot deduction uh, for development is 40 percent developed land value is 2800 rupees per square meter total betterment cost to be paid by the landowner is 50 percent of the increase total land value now as i said in previous lecture also just um, write the information and solve the uh, numerical answer type question step by step what is given and what we need to uh, calculate so uh, the first one they have mentioned the original plot size that is which is a undeveloped plot okay undeveloped land which is mentioned as 500 square meter the next thing they have mentioned original land value which is 1200 um, rupees per square meter so what will be the value for 500 square meter we will just do the multiplication and we will calculate the original undeveloped land value so it will be 6 lakh rupees for the entire 500 square meter land okay so next thing what they have mentioned plot deduction for development what is plot deduction that is area required for developing some kind of a necessity infra necessary infrastructure like roads open spaces etc we have to deduct some kind of a land in that particular in, in, in that total parcel of land so 40 percent will be the deduction from the 500 so 40 percent of 500 will be uh, 200 square meters so this 200 uh, square meter land uh, we need to deduct from the entire plot so now the net uh, area available uh, or the from from which we can develop a few kind of plots will be 500 minus 200 will be 300 square meter now we will sell this uh, uh, the remaining land at a price of 2800 per square meter okay so just we need to do the multiplication 2800 into uh, 300 will be rupees 8 lakh 40 thousand okay just by doing some kind of a uh, plot deduction for the necessary infrastructure we have uh, increased the land value and uh, this is the uh, so what is the net increase uh, 8 lakh 40 thousand minus 6 lakh so uh, 2 lakh 40 thousand is the net increase now this is not the uh, profit to the landowner he has to pay some kind of amount to the developing authority for uh, as a betterment cost so what which is mentioned as 50 percent of the increase total land value now 2 lakh 40 thousand is the net increase in the land value and uh, we need to give 50 percent of this increase to the uh, to the urban uh, local body so 50 percent of this will be 1 lakh 20 thousand right and the remaining one 1 lakh 20 thousand is the profit to that landowner now in that question uh, in the question they have asked the estimated net benefit to the landowner after land development so uh, that will be 1 lakh 20 thousand so the um, answer here will be 1 lakh 20 thousand as per gate answer key they have mentioned uh, the range of 1 lakh 18 thousand to 1 lakh 22 thousand so our answer is in between the range two mark question easy to solve we will get the full marks so total marks we have achieved in this particular section and plus the, the general aptitude section plus the common and compulsory section total marks we have achieved 73 marks so this was the last question uh, we have not discussed each and every question uh, in the entire question paper uh, the preview of the book is available on issue.com wherein we have discussed all the question we have solved all the question uh, which are not covered in this um, particular uh, lecture but they are available on that preview so the link for that is uh, also available uh, in the description box so you can go and refer that
so uh, overall uh, i have given the references by uh, while uh, while discussing um, the question paper of these two uh, guidebooks which are authored by me and we have discussed that uh, just by um, by uh, uh, by referring the previous year question paper by uh, by having uh, multiple revisions of these uh, the earlier year question paper at, at the same time going through the syllabus which is uh, mentioned in uh, set 2 of architects guidebook if the candidate has um, selected uh, uh, the general aptitude common section and uh, section b1 that is for architecture then achieving 82 marks uh, was the very uh, easy one similarly if the planning uh, uh, the next uh, optional section b2 plus general aptitude and common section uh, we have achieved 73 marks just by doing the references of the previous year question paper as well as the uh, already available information in the um, set 2 of architects guidebook comprising of the theory so uh, that's it uh, the link of both these uh, books is available in the description box if uh, someone wants to uh, appear for the further year also um, i will definitely recommend these two books you can uh, you can go through and uh, do the study for uh, gate architecture and other uh, competitive exam from these two books um what else uh, i will uh, give you all my best wishes if you are appearing for gate 2023 uh, soon we will uh, discuss that question paper in the next lecture so till that time take care of yourself and i will wish you all the best thank you so much thank you